I grew up in West London. I've been there pretty much all my life. I was walking one day with my mum, and while I was walking back, there was a police van that was coming on the other side of the road. There was this guy with a right chip on his shoulder, this officer, he followed me. He just said someone in the area had been stealing car parts. And I mean, I was 16 at the time. And as I was walking across the road, they tripped me up. And there were six officers that came and they put their knee in my back. And I was on the floor for ages. I don't know, I lost track of time. But the whole ordeal was just very, um, very degrading to say the least, because at the time I was just opening my charity. I was a young man and it, it lowers your confidence over time in people and your faith in humanity just plummets almost and you, you've got to keep restoring it to get it back up. Stuff like that that goes on can either make or break you. For me, I wrote about it in my new book um, about all the experiences and my whole book is based off of, you know, good and evil and that kind of thing. So I just um, found a way to turn all of this negativity and anger into positivity, help other people, that kind of thing. What gave me that kind of view on seeing the world differently was um, I had an incident, I think it was prior to that actually, where my friend was being chased by a vicious dog and there was there was a lot of gangs at the time in the estates and um, he was running down the road and he tried to get into a news agent to get away from it but instead of opening the door he ran straight through the pane glass window and the glass literally lacerated him from his head down to his knees and I tried my best to hold his wounds together the paramedics said if I didn't do what I did, he would have died because of the amount of blood that he lost. And the policeman that turned up on the day was a man called PC Diamond. And he was very, he was very philosophical. And he said to me, it's people like you that help the world to go round in a dark time. It only takes one little bit of light injected by someone else into your life that will, I guess, change the way you think about yourself and, and the world around you for the rest of your life so um, seeing the light is very important basically and that's um, partly the reason why I set up Alliance Dance Unit the charity um, so I could just give back to people and bring them away from antisocial behaviour petty crimes you know stuff like that we've gone on to work with I'd say thousands of individuals got many different races, you know, social statuses, all different sexual orientations as well, straight, gay, bisexual, lesbian. Being the change you wish to see has always been the, the mindset and the ethos behind Alliance um, in a dark world, I guess. One of the recent awards we won was at the Diversity Awards. We finished in the top eight, and that was out of 28,000 people in the UK. Um, and that's that Britain's biggest diversity award. So I feel very lucky that we have this platform um, to be able to instill just this different mindset into everyone. That it's just, you've got to stop living in a box. That's, that's all it is really. Yeah, when I see these protests going on, it, it is very, it's just tough because it, it just really divides the nation and it can divide your own family. But it also kind of makes you feel um, uplifted in a sense when you see everyone coming together, you see all the different races um, saying no, this is wrong. Um, and, and there's a lot, there's a lot of diversity. It isn't just one type of person protesting, it's literally citizens saying we don't want to stand for this shit anymore. We just want to, we just want this, we want this to end. And then that just tells you it's good versus evil. And I'd rather just be with the good faction then put myself in a, in a race. It's just good versus bad, and that's all it ever has been to me. With all that's going on in the world right now, and then the protests and stuff like that, running our charity does give me huge hope that, you know, change will come. Um, and that's purely because of the attitudes that we see on a weekly basis from people from all walks of life, all different ages, people that are just starting off in their in their lives to people that are, you know, halfway through their lives. It's um, there's one common theme really, and that common theme is we are one entity. Yeah.